These four words, you shall not murder. Only two in the original, literally just no murder. It's unacceptable to God. What else is intended? The Heidelberg Catechism from 1563 helps us develop and understand all that's required in the sixth commandment of no murder. What does God require in the sixth commandment, the catechism asks. I am not to dishonor, hate, injure, or kill my neighbor by thoughts, words, or gestures, and much less by deeds. But, the next question, does this commandment speak only of killing? The answer, by forbidding murder, God teaches us that he hates the root of murder, such as envy, hatred, anger, and desire of revenge, and that he regards all these as murder. Another question in the Catechism. Is it enough, then, that we do not kill our neighbor in any such way? The answer, no. When God condemns envy, hatred, and anger, he commands us to love our neighbors as ourselves, to show patience, peace, gentleness, mercy, and friendliness toward him to protect him from a harm as much as we can, and to do good even to our enemies. How do we know that more is meant? How do we know that the originators of this catechism were accurate? Well, Jesus has done so much work for us on this command and its implications in our lives. Matthew 5, 21, you have heard it said, you shall not murder, but I say to you. Jesus has taken the command and applied it. And it's been developed here in the catechism in order that we might know that within the command, do not murder, it's not simply do not take innocent life. But the expectation is that we fight to protect, for, protect all of life all around us. 